Hey, Odoers. Per usual, Stealthy Wood has a problem, but it's a good problem, as we want to give customers an even better level of service beyond the classic model of selling. So what does that require, and how do we get there? So after sales features, as the name suggests, are services that can be done after a sale goes through. Things like refunds, returns, and repairs are some common examples of after sales features. At Stealthywood, a good number of the help desk tickets we get are from customers who need these exact after sales features. But thankfully, help desk is already integrated with the rest of the database. And with a little bit of configuration, we can easily perform these services, all from the center of the ticket form. Because I offer these after sales features, I can also better satisfy my customers' needs. So let's dive into Odoo and learn how to configure after sales features on a help desk team. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is start on the help desk module because that's where we activate these features. And then we're going to navigate over to the help desk team settings by clicking on the configuration menu as you see me do here now. And then we're going to select teams and then we're going to click on the specific team that we want because we can't enable after sales features unless we pick a team. In this case, uh, we'll pick customer care. Now, we have to make sure to click on the big edit button over here in the top left button or left corner. And then we're going to scroll down to the after sales section. And as you can see, Odoo allows us to enable five unique after sales features. The very first one we have up, we have refunds, which will issue a credit note to the customer for either a full or partial amount of their order in case, you know, you don't want to give them their full refund. Second, we have coupons, which will generate a coupon code that customers can use to get a discount on their next order, like Odoo for 5% off, et cetera, et cetera. And the very third thing we have is uh, returns, which will log a warehouse transfer in Odoo and help you generate a return. And this could be a label or anything so the customer can return faulty or damaged products. Now, the fourth thing we have, we have repairs, which will create a repair order. And the very last thing we have is field service, which will open a new ticket in the Odoo field service module so that you can plan and track on-site interventions. Remember to check out Odoo tutorials and documentation for more information about the field service. So let's enable all of them because, you know, we want to see how they all work. So we're going to click on save and check out what these after sales features look like on the help form. So now here we are back and since all of those settings were specifically for my customer care team, I'm going to navigate over to my customer care team pipeline by scrolling back to the top of the team settings. And we're going to basically go and click on the ticket smart button so that we can, you know, see these in action. I can also, of course, access the pipeline from the help desk dashboard by just clicking on the customer care card. And that's a little shortcut. Now, I'm going to click on this ticket that I just received from a customer. Damaged chair. Stealthy Wood has a lot of damaged chairs sometimes. You know, it's COVID. Stuff gets broken in shipments. Now, because I enabled the after sales features, I get some fun buttons for each feature along the top of the ticket form. All the buttons are pretty self-explanatory. If I want to issue a refund, I would click on the refund button and, you know, and so on. So this will create a task in my field service project. The field service project helps me manage, uh, manage on-site interventions using tasks. When I create the task, I can then access it at any time with the task smart button, as you can see over here. And even if I don't normally have user access rights to the field service project, um, I can pretty much you know, still do this because it's convenient. The same goes for the repair button. This is super helpful for checking on the progress of the repair order or for logging or leaving notes for the repair team. Odoo will also log a note on the ticket's chatter once the repair is finished, as you can see right over here with the chatter. Now, the convenience of these buttons for after sales features just can't be beat. It's like a lot of features, whether it's refunds, Coupon codes, returns or repairs, I can create these records on the fly as I talk to a customer.
So today we saw how easy it is to configure after sales features for a help desk team. I know my workflow will be so much faster and more efficient thanks to help desk integration with the rest of the database. And be sure to check out the other Odoo tutorials for a deep dive into all things help desk. And remember, it's Odoo, not Odon't.